Then we're on the road again. We're heading towards um, Wollongi Beach. Pretty good lunch meal. Yeah. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, getting a bit of pinstriping. Hi, I'm Bianca and this is my husband Grant. We're currently travelling Australia full time with our two dogs, Frank and Baxter. Come join us on our adventures. Good morning. Hi. And we're on the road again. We're heading towards Woggy Beach from Hopetown. Um, I've spent, what, the past week? Uh, a bit? Three nights. Well, the past three nights we were in Hometown, oh. but we spent the past week or so around the Denmark sort of region. I'm just checking it out, and we're having to make our way back towards Salmon Gums for me to start work on Monday. The weather's been pretty ordinary, so we're just, we were going to do a bunch of different stops, but we've just sort of, yesterday, I, there was no way I was driving in, in the wind that was hitting the coastline yesterday, so we stayed put, had a good little rain day, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I didn't do very much in the rain day. No, I just watched got, Star Wars. Got the computer out, Grant watched some Star Wars. I was due for a Star Wars day. Yeah. <laughs> Usually once a year. Yeah, did some editing, and it's draining again today. It's not as windy. So. It's not quite as windy, it's still pretty wet. We're planning on going to, to Corgi Beach for a, for a night, yep. check that out, see what that's going to... The weather's supposed to die down a little bit as of tonight. Tomorrow we're planning on going to Esperance yep. again. We're staying in a caravan park because we want to go check out an agricultural show. Yeah, they've got the agricultural show on. Um, uh, I love a good ag show, so... <laughs> the slang <laughs> term. <laughs> Country bumpkin from way back. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I I grew up in Seymour yeah. in country Victoria and they used to always have the agricultural shows on. And they're one of my favourite types of shows to go to and watch like hopefully there's like cheap dog trials and stuff like that because they're very cool. Yeah, I could watch those yeah. things for, for days. <laughs> yeah. I love watching those things, so we'll see. And hopefully there's like, you know, food and stuff we can buy from all the local farms. Yeah, today we're on to Kwagi Beach. Hopefully the rain settles down and we can actually walk around and have a look at it. But if not, So pretty, like, so diverse. Oh, love it. So thick. Okay, so we've pulled up at Quaggy Beach. We're just having a look, see if we can go through into a campsite, see if we can get one for the night. Who knows? Hopefully. Get back. Go on. The reversing master. Here, hanging on, waiting for 
<laughs> so we've just pulled up at Kwagi Beach. We've got a, a nice campsite and I'm just making us some lunch. And I thought I'd just show you what I'm going to put together. So basically, it's pretty easy. <laughs> I have these Trident hot and spicy um, gluten-free noodle soups. And I've just chopped up some veg and some um, barbecue chicken that I had pulled apart the other day and froze. And all you do is, I've got two packets of this, three cups of water in here, bring that to the boil, add in the seasoning packet and then add all the veg. I just added all the noodles, um, the veggies, and the frozen chicken, and just let that boil away for a couple of minutes, and then put the same thing in. Okay, so this is our finished product of our Trident soup mix and veg and chicken. Um, I think that soup mix is like. A dollar? Yeah. It's Maybe a dollar twenty cheap. for a packet and that's one packet per serve. And then yeah, chuck your own meat and veg in there and you've got a pretty good lunch meal. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that's hot mate. It's spicy. That's hot and spicy soup. I hope you get ring of fire. <laughs> F and L Frank. Uh uh. F and L. So anyway, I'm going to dig in and have some lunch. I'm going to let mine cool a bit first because my yeah. mouth is coughed and bleeding. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good at all. Grant's mouth is coughed and beating. Yeah, well, you know, the guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. <laughs> That's not going in there. Good. <laughs> You need to get down. I hope your, your tongue is burning. <laughs> oh, getting a bit of pinstriping. Shit happens. So there's a little four-wheel drive track just near the campsite, so we thought we'd go check it out. It's a little bit more overgrown than we thought it would be. Bushes are right there. Oh, that's what happens sometimes. I need to test the mirrors in. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's trying to get out of the car. Do you want to get him out for a sniff?
Hi. Are you cleaning yourself off? Yeah. Yeah. First fishing trip that I've had for a little while with much success. Yes. Um, one fish. But it was a doozy. It was 52 centimetres. Insert photo here. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was it, salmon? Aussie salmon, yeah. Woo! Yeah. So pretty, pretty stoked with that. I think it was just feeling suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really have all that much skill. I did, like I used to, like we, we don't always catch those things all the time, but. Oh, we haven't had much practice, like, no. be since we, before we came on this trip, so. Uh, I think I sort of, I don't know, it was just feeling depressed and I plopped the lure, the bait right in front of him and he just went. <laughs> Thank you. So that's, that's dinner or lunch. I'm thinking fish burgers. Oh, yeah. So, Tomorrow. Mm. Because we have roast pork for dinner tonight. Mm. Yeah. So. Yum. Yeah. Awesome. So good. So what have we got in the bucket? That's come back full. It's not come back empty. Right, they're good. Good size fillets. Wowzers. That's why. It's as big as my arm. That was the other one. Sort of butchy mouth was just a bit of a blunt filly knife. But... Oh, you have to get that sharpened. Yeah. It's unlike me to have a blunt knife, but the filly knife doesn't get used very often, so I completely <laughs> forgot that it was even right, so yeah. not to worry. I know now. That's it. Well, we'll get it ready for the next time. Yes. And yay. Yep. <laughs> Grant came down to the beach for a fish this morning and I'm just gonna go see if I can find him <laughs> and um, left the dogs in the van and uh, I don't want them to get wet so I'm gonna go see if I can find him on the beach having a fish. can see him, see if he's caught anything. Got a salmon last night, so see if he's had any more luck.
<laughs> so. Yeah, so. <laughs> we just been, Bianca's teaching me how to edit, right? Yeah. And we just came across this part on the Corgi Beach episode where uh, I'm reversing into the spot and she just puts in a random so. Now, I was laughing because there's a lot of so's and I don't know if they're going to be negative or positive. And there's a bloody pause in the middle that leaves you suspenseful. <laughs> so it, it could be so... <laughs> you didn't put the lid on properly on the, on the peanut butter. <laughs> or it's so... You know, and that one was negative. So... Pause. Want some chocolate? <laughs> Yay! Positive! But you don't know until she said it, and she does it all the time. <laughs> I really do. And so we go through. So well, this is the video we're editing at the moment. I'm showing Grant how to edit. And listening back, you really, I really know how many times I say so. And I don't actually say anything after that as well. It's just, it's just a word that I use as a filler. And so I have to go through and delete it out of all the footage. Because <laughs> I just randomly just say so. I don't know. Anyway. It's, it's the so's that don't have anything after them. Yeah. But it's sort of like <laughs> just funny. But it's the ones that have something after the, after the pause. And you just don't know what it's going to be. Yeah. Or I end the sentence with so. And I'm not asking any more questions. It's weird. Yeah. So how things, how Bianca keeps things <laughs> interesting in the marriage. So. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's how. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. So funny. So. so wow. Funny. Anyway, you but you guys probably won't think that that's funny. It's probably a bit of an in joke. Totally an in joke, but. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm, I'm. She's teaching me editing, so. I have to try and keep it. <laughs> We've just both said so like. So, about a billion times. So. so. Yeah. So Grant's enjoying learning how to edit. It's so so. Oh, it's, it's a lot to it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more than people think. It's a lot more than I thought when I started to do it. But I think once you get the hang of it, it's uh, it's quite good. You get to be a bit creative and get your creative flows and juices out there to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not juices then. You. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. 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 So. Back to editing. Back to editing. 